His DC story hasn't gone full circle yet. Zack Snyder working on Justice League 2 and 3 after Netflix experience changed him, Theory explained. What once will shall again be, so it has been foretold. No more diamond absolutes, this time it is an invocation of the Snyderverse and a testimony by Zack Snyder. Having resurrected by his own hands one of his greatest creations. All that now remains to be seen is whether the cryptic message truly holds the promise of the universe's future or if it merely leads to something that falls short of Justice League 2 and 3. Even though the possibilities shine bright on the revival of a SnyderCon event rather than an extension of the once promised five-part saga. Zack Snyder, the master at his craft, has evoked the Justice League trio in three new posts, made consecutively each day after the first transmission. In each new post was embedded a never-before-seen image of one of the three heroes, with a quote about their journey at DCU. On the third day, the Wonder Woman post featured the longest of the messages, the journey of the hero is about leaving the familiar and entering the unknown. It's about encountering challenges and overcoming them. And it's about returning to the world of the familiar, but now transformed by the experience. At the moment, the fandom has come to understand that the dates, April 28, 29, and 30 mean the SnyderCon event that will screen Man of Steel and BVS at ACCD, and finally ZSJL at IMAX. But this much hype surrounding Darkseed and such direct references to the DCEU cannot simply be concerning the three-day movie marathon followed by a canned a panel with fans. So the YouTuber's theory about all of it being Snyder's way of building towards something bigger makes sense. Does the Snyderverse truly stand a chance at survival? Snyderverse was once revered as immortal and invulnerable. But such a thing of power that holds so much sway in the modern world of fiction, adaptation, and cinematic creative liberty would have pinpointed the entire DC universe down to one focal point. The CBM franchise would have become synonymous with the Snyderverse, a curse that Walter Hamada tried to prevent by expanding into a J.J. Abrams Superman project. After the dismantling of the previous DC management and with James Gunn investing so much effort into envisioning a sustainable DCU for the foreseeable future, it now seems like an even far-fetched hope for the Snyderverse to make a comeback, be it in the custody of Netflix or WB.